Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and welcome to Spyro the Dragon. Uh, here we are in our 100% completion walkthrough, or playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Apparently, I don't know why I tried to flame him. Uh, we're going to head down here though, and take on the boss and complete the flight level for this world. Ooh, ouch. Can't believe I got hurt by that. <sighs> Jesus. Burn him. Take care of all these guys. We also need to get that chest. I totally forgot about that. What are we at as far as gold goes to, or gold <laughs> gems go? 290. Well, let's go ahead and enter Blowhard. We have to go get that chest. I forgot all about that. It's in a little secret area. But it's cool because it's just going to... Just gonna give us more time to hang out and talk about Spyro the Dragon. Really cool, really cool game. I love, I love this game. Eventually, I do plan on doing like Crash Bandicoot. I need to get the first Gex out of there too, so I can start doing the Gex trilogy. I like. The, see, the Gex trilogy is it's cool for what I played. I never played the third one. I barely played it. Well, I, I like walked around the hub world a little bit. I think that's like all I did in the third Gex game. But uh, I love the second Gex game. I played the shit out of Gex to enter the Gecko. I 100% completed that all all day long back when I was a kid. Like 99, I don't know, 98, whenever that game came out. It was tits. I loved it. That, Spyro the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot. Those were my three PlayStation platformers, big ones. I played a little bit of Croc, too, as well. So, All right, so this is the boss, Blowhard. You just got to flame him three times. Pretty easy. You just got to kind of... Just gotta kind of dodge him. Uh, this is where, like, the first one where you actually kind of, I guess, chase the boss through the whole level. Or actually, this might be the only one. I do, I do like this one because of that, though. I think it's really cool. Oh no, it's not the only one. Next boss, you do pretty much the same thing. But it's a really cool concept. I don't know. I like that they did this. You chase the boss through the level as you fight him. Let's rescue this dragon. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in... No problem, old dude. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Zing! Alright. Laying on this platform. Right to him. Ugh. Yeah, if you fall down there, I think you automatically die. So be aware of that. And right to ya. Boom. Make sure you grab all those. And that'll take you right back around if you need to, to loop around. I think there is a a, or a a whirlwind that appears that lets you just kind of jump right up there once you hit him here. Is it once you hit him here or maybe once you clear that cave? You have to wait for him to lower himself like that. Oh. I can't believe he hit me with that. I missed my attacks. All right, so anyway, that's the second hit. We got one more to go. Very easy boss fight. By no means is this a difficult boss fight. I would say... I don't know. Maybe Shemp's a little bit tougher because his attacks are like less predictable. Unless you know what they are. I obviously forgot, but at least he like changes it up and stuff. See, this guy's just dead. Dead. I don't know. Anyway. What, are we too shy? I think we are. I don't know. Maybe not. We're five. I'm missing five. Okay. That's cool. I always seem to be missing one. I don't. I don't see where I went wrong here. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's here. Let's try this. I'm gonna have to glide to get back. Boom! Nice. <laughs> Cheating the system. All right. Let's go see where this final blue one is it might be in that cave i don't know it's a really short level so yeah there's see there's a whirlwind whoops didn't mean to go right into it really small level easy to go back and look this is where we started okay so it is in the cave it's probably actually where that fucking dragon is i must have i wonder if i broke a chest just grabbed the dragon and then the camera angle got all stupid so I was like, oh, I must have got everything. And I just left. Maybe not. Where is it? Where could it be? 
Did I pat? Oh my god. I just have. Oh, shit. Ah, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Alright. Oh, there it is. What the fuck? That's a sneaky gem. Oh no! That's a sneaky ass gem. <laughs> I was not expecting that, and that stupid gate closed. Of course. Okay, let's get out of here. We got a flight level to complete, and some other things to do. I wonder if we still have to fight. Ding ding. Nope, doesn't look like it. Because we already got his gems. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. That's three bosses down. Three of them down. We got three to go. That's including Nasty Nork, the final boss. So. Alright, uh. What do we gotta do? We gotta go get that chest. That's next on our agenda. Oh, Jesus. Right, hopefully, one of these guys will. Give me a dragonfly of some sort. Actually, you know what? No, we'll, we'll get that on the way back, because we, we have to come back this way anyways. Shut up. Kill both those guys. I'm going to burn that so I can get a hit back. Sounds good to me. I'm going to go all the way up top here. We're going to jump and glide over here. I don't think you need to be all the way at the top, but I go all the way to the top anyway. Just to do it. Do we... Wait. Oh, I have to get the key again? Oh! I can't believe that. Alright. Alright, I don't even care about that extra hit. I cannot believe that. What was the point of getting the key then? Insomniac, I can't even save... Can't even save my file for... <sighs> Jesus. For fucking 15 minutes? 5 minutes? Whatever it was. So apparently if you didn't get the chest, you have to re-grab the key once you e exit a level. I can't even see what's going on. I'm just like, ah, I'm just flying blindly. Alright. Okay, let's get it this time. Holy shit. Thank you. And that should be everything for this uh, world. Yeah. Not world, but uh, hub world. Oh, yeah, we're good. We are good so far. Now we just got to complete that flight level and get on get on our way. The next world's pretty cool, too. It's a swamp world. And if you recall from Banjo-Kazooie and Jack and Daxter, I like swamp swamp worlds or swamp levels. Except Bubble Gloop Swamp's not that good. I don't know. Well, it's kind of cool. I don't know. It's cool in its own way, I guess. Bubble Gloop Swamp's all right. I am a fan of Swamp Levels, though. I like Boggy Swamp from from the from Jack and Daxter. There we go. Oh no, I can dig him. Uh, this is probably the easiest flight level, I think, because it's very clear on where you go. And it makes it, I don't know, everything's pretty accessible. It's just an easier one. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, directly, like, directs you. It directs you into everything very easily, and you know where you're going. Even though you do get low on time. Whoa. Alright. Get all the arches. Oh, jeez. Get all the chests. And then planes, I think are the last ones. Yeah, looks like it. And then we'll go ahead and. Oh god. Wow. Oh, I think I got it. All right, let's try this again. Let's do this again. Let's only give you one second. To be fair, they are just laid out right in front of you, and they're easy. I think we have to start on the arches and then maybe like go back and cut ties with the arches once we see the pilots and start shooting down the pilots and then, or the planes and then grab the arches or the rest of them and start doing the chests, all that good stuff. 
<gasps> there he is. I saw him. Yeah, see, we'll go... We'll go back this way, so we're... Oh, God. I was going to say, so we're, like, head on with them, you know? Oh, I missed it! Doing crap. Alright, that's the last plane. Got it, yes! Ugh. Alright, chests. I got all the arches, too. Cool. Alright, we're looking good. As long as these chests can give me enough time and they aren't too spaced out, we should be alright. It's looking like we're in the clear. Oh, yeah! Perfect. Got it in the second try. I'll take it. I'll take it. It got a little iffy there for a minute, but I'll take it. Got a little weird. Minute, 17 seconds. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, 5,500. All right. Looking good. Looking good. And you can save. Why not? Because I'm already here and... So puts you right out of the save point. Take care of you. Take care of you. Don't care about anything else. I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to run along this. Uh, I think I'm going to heal before I... Ah, damn it. I was going to say before I go into the next world. Let me get this one too. And I'll grab that. Because why not? Alright, let's talk to the balloonist. Almost got an extra life. Tuco the balloonist. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Are you are you a dragon? What are you? Who? What are these guys? I wonder what they are. Hop aboard for the Beast Maker's world if you are ready. Are you guys humans? Let's go to Beast Maker's. Okay, here we are at the Beastmaker's World, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Really cool, really good world.